What's going on, everybody? It's Jazzy TV and Oreo. And Oreo. Say hi, Oreo. Hi, everybody. Dab on him. She wants down. Anyways, so today, my beloved Cincinnati Bengals cut Brandon LaFell. Now, to get on that subject, I've read a lot of reports from ESPN, CincinnatiBengals.com, um, you know, that A.J. Green, Tyler Boyd, all these uh, receivers are very shocked that this happened. Nobody saw it coming within the organization except for, you know, the front office and everybody who talks about that. But, you know, A.J. Green and Tyler Boyd both made a statement saying that they're very shocked that a veteran guy that with his caliber could bring a lot of um, positivity and a lot of, you know, demeanor to the these young receivers that they don't understand why it happened and um, quite frankly you know I kind of agree with them um, I'm not really sure why we cut Brandon LaFell do I think he could play better to his potential at 31 yes I do think he is undervalued um, I do believe he can produce more and the sad part about it is I feel like um, with us he didn't produce to his full potential so I guess that's what they're basing it off of. And I think they're also basing it off of the fact that we have Auden Tate. We have Tyler Boyd. John Ross is healthy. You know, we have a lot of young receivers. So to rebuild an organization, you know, pay out these young guys and that you think can be here for multiple years and, you know, see how they do. And I just, you know, feel like that's why they didn't need Brandon LaFell. But I wish we would have kept Brandon LaFell because of the fact that he – mentors these young receivers and I think they could learn a lot from him even though they could learn a lot from AJ Green but you know Brandon LaFell is definitely a long veteran here but yeah no I just you know I heard reports that you know from CincinnatiBingles.com that AJ Green walked in and you know and like all his stuff was still there you know all his pads ready for practice and apparently his stool because everybody has a stool in front of their locker was upside down inside his locker so that's when everybody knew that something was up, and apparently that's when uh, news broke inside the locker room, everybody talking, and um, uh, that's when you know A.J. Green and Tyler Boyd both made their report that um, they were shocked and never would have saw it coming. But, you know, it's a business at the end of the day, um, and you got to do what you got to do, and if they think this is the best scenario for us to uh, keep wide receiver depth, and uh, win ball games this year, then uh, you know I'm gonna stick with the organization. You know, uh, thank you, Brandon LaFell, for um, everything you did for this organization and your time for playing with us. But um, you know, you'll be missed because you know you gotta love a big body receiver out there. So um, yeah, that's just my little intake. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, Jazzy TV. Like I said, it's time for these young guys, these young bucks, to step up. Let's go, peace.